Animal Kingdom is pouncing late on the John Velasquez. It's now Animal Kingdom on the outside who goes to lead for John Velasquez and he's going clear by two lengths and running to the line. Animal Kingdom wins the derby. Nero in second. Animal Kingdom winning the 2011 Kentucky Derby. He parlayed that victory following a win in the spiral stakes. You now know it is the Jeff Ruby stakes. It's still on synthetic, but we're on the Tapita now at Turfway Park, Scott. We're also worth 100 points to the winner. Big goings-ons in Florence this weekend. Yes, $250,000 on the line. And like you said, 100 points to the winner. Big prop up of the Jeff Ruby stakes. Love to see it, Ed. And I think the race came up very strong. You have the top four finishers from the Bataglia, the local prep. And then you have a lot more horses shipping in from the Florida prep races than I expected. Some of them, it makes sense coming home to Kentucky to get ready for Keeneland and Churchill. But you have Todd Pletcher shipping in. A couple other horses, Tarantino, the favorite, I believe, uh, coming in for a Rudy Brissett. So I thought there were a plethora of ways to go in an outstanding wagering race. Uh I, I guess I agree, but at the same time, uh, a lot of directions to go. And I ended up on the morning line favorite anyway in, in Tarantino, who I do think is just the fastest of this group, uh, shipping shipping up for Brissette and Pioneer of the Nile. And, and Rudy has started horses at the meet, so certainly knows his way around the track. Laurent Giroux, uh, I see as a big-time positive, and I like that Tarantino can be forwardly placed. I see that as an advantage going nine. I think if you're fit and ready for the distance, uh, you definitely want to be into the bit a little bit. So uh, I, I do think all signs point to Tarantino. It's just a question of getting the right price. Three to one would be it. I don't want much less than that. Yeah, you should probably get three to one. There's so I many think so. to go. Yeah, I, I don't see him as any sort of standout. It's interesting. Maybe he'll take to the synthetic, to the tapita. Baffert, who had him originally, raced him on the turf. You rarely see Baffert race <laughs> his top stock going two turns on the turf. I have a hard time getting over that. Generally, even though he ran well, he didn't run fast to me. If Baffert's debuting horses two turns on the turf, I don't see them as some of the fastest horses in his barn, but maybe he's just taking a step forward. I'm going to lean more, Ed, on the horses that have run well over the surface. We saw that be a major factor in the Bataglia. I have a lot of respect for Hush of a Storm, who is three for three at the meet for trainer Billy Morey. Does move inside, maybe a little bit of a trickier voyage. I thought Hard Rye Guy might have been best in that Bataglia, and I think we should get a real good price on him. Maybe we'll get a little over bet off of the trouble, but still with so many options in the fourth place finish, I'm hoping to get a solid price as Brian Hernandez Jr. takes over riding duties. Yeah, I think you will uh, definitely get that price. And uh, the other two out of the race, Gretzky the Great third is the even money favorite. Probably over bet, but also uh, thought he ran well, ended up on the lead. Versnet called it an extremely fast pace. I thought he was game uh, off the layoff and now gets the stretch back out to nine for a long second off the layoff. Uh, and then like the king, uh, ended up being runner up. And I remember watching the race thinking the, the horse was kind of lost out there, but uh, he dug in and, and got the second place finish. And uh, I know the, the connections were hoping for the put up and that didn't happen. But, uh, yeah, compelling quartet. Uh, I'm going with the new shooter in Tarantino. But uh, with a full field expected, I think whoever you like, you're going to get your price. Definitely. And I do think there's quite a bit of speed signed on in here again because you made good points about especially Gretzky the Great, who had the battle from the inside all the way throughout on a mile on a 16th off the bench in his first start over a, a unique surface. All the synthetic surfaces are pretty unique. I like the move to an outside draw. Can he relax just off the pace? Chris Landeros picks up this mount. Not sure what happened with him and hard ride guy. If this was a choice that he made or if uh, Wilkes opted for Brian and he and ended up on Gretzky the great, but I think the pace will be uh, relatively ambitious. So I'm hoping to come from way out of it with hard ride guy. All right, and I'm hoping to not be so out of it, but definitely I don't think I'm the lead with the shipper Tarantino. Again, this is a points race, which means a leaderboard contest in play, $25 win bet, get you signed on for a horse, and then you get its points. So make sure you do that. Make sure you watch and wager at Twin Spires. Good luck.